Hi Virgo, welcome to my channel. This is going to be your weekly love reading. Hi Leo, this is going to be your weekly love reading. Pride and ego is the current energy. Somebody's ego is huge right now. It looks like I'm talking to divine masculines and divine feminines who are currently in separation, it looks like. Okay. So if you believe like your divine masculine, when I say divine masculine, that means that you're, you, you're the connection you feel like you're in right now is like a soulmate or a twin flame, right? This is your divine counterpart. It was fate for you to meet this person. The connection is life is life changing and life altering. Yeah, see, this person's pride and ego. This person, somebody's dating, okay? You apply, apply it where it fits, okay? So this, I don't know if this is, if you're the divine masculine or the divine feminine, you know which which energy you um, identify with here. But it looks like somebody's doing some a lot of online dating or just casual dating in in general. And if this per whoever this person is who's like refusing not to reach out and you haven't talked to them, or you're refusing to reach out and you and you know and they they're not talking to you right. It's different for all of you, but they're they're. I feel like they're dating other people, or they may for some of you all they may be sleeping with other people. Let's just be real. Everybody's grown on this channel, but your person you you don't amount up. Like no matter who this person sees, yeah, it might be fun, temporary fun. I feel like this person's fine when they're with them casually with these people on the dating so scene trying to move on acting like they don't care but they're physically missing you and nobody amounts you know the the sexual connection and attraction i feel like it just doesn't compare because obviously they're missing you and they want to reach out but their pride won't let them right so somebody's like that's the energy of somebody dating, trying to replace you. But they're in this regret. I regret it. See, I told you. I destroyed and deleted our photos when I got upset with you. I told you I'm talking to a divine masculine, divine feminine connection who currently is like, y'all aren't talking right now. Show me the current energy between the divine masculine and divine feminine. Mm -mm. Somebody, yeah, somebody feels like helpless and their hands are tied here, but they said, I love you. So somebody is really trapped by their ego or their circumstances here, okay? This is either ego or certain circumstances. I feel like, you know, in this... In this helpless card, this is this is the same energy as the Eight of Swords. So we may see the Eight of Swords come out in Tarot when we pull Tarot. But like you see how this person's like tied up, their feet tied, their arms are tied. You know, they're nobody's like really holding them back, right? This person can get out of that. There is some hope, but maybe we might see the star in reverse. So this person is they love you okay <laughs> i told you nobody amounts to you okay i just heard gemini virgo okay you could be a gemini or virgo or your person could have those uh placements in their chart secret love okay listen some of you it was a third party situation okay let's keep it real here This person may have also kept their love for you a secret, and that makes total sense, especially if you're dealing with someone who had their their ego is like ruling their behavior, right? It's 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 the ego is ruling what's happening in the 3D. Instead, this person should be, you know, moving in the 5D. Yeah, see, they so they it's so weird. Like they are moving in the 5D. There's somebody there's some telepathy going on between the two of you. Oof. And then there's some form of disagreement here. The two of you are not seeing eye to eye on a lot of things between the two of you, okay? You know, this person, I feel like they feel helpless right now because they have a lot of drama going on in their life that they that I feel like honestly they aren't telling you about collective, but it's like they created this is like five of Eight of Swords energy and Five of Wands energy, like, um, yeah, I feel like this person created their own drama, to be quite honest. Divine Feminine may not want 
anything to do with the divine masculine and it's totally i mean it could be divine masculine not wanting to do anything and here's a divine union that just fell out so there's your confirmation on this being a divine union so if you were questioning what type of union this was spirit is confirming for you okay because i already know this is a divine masculine and divine feminine reading right but when spirit does this and confirms it if i feel like some of you guys need confirmation here and here's your confirmation this person says you left every part of me untouched i realize now who you are like i said you don't there's something about you in the connection that you gave this person that they cannot they haven't been able to get from anybody else okay yes they may be having sex with other people or going out on other dates or on a dating site or something or you could have heard through the grapevine but yeah this person is they're okay even though this person is acting like which i feel like is the divine masculine but apply the roles where it fits i feel like the divine masculine isn't is in expressing that they love you right now because their ego won't let them right but they are trying to figure out how they can come towards you and apologize because they've had this epiphany this breakthrough ace of swords energy hermit energy and they know yeah i told you they're acting like they don't care but they really do unfazed this person says i'm a, i'm unfazed by our separation since i wasn't emotionally invested there we go again with some more pride and ego shit <laughs> right i'm telling you i mean a big big uh egotistical person just fell on the floor see yeah that somebody so much in their ego they said you make me feel so damn insecure yeah this person is so much in their ego trying to act like they don't care collective but they really do and they're just insecure that's really all it is uh, drop some cards okay let's get one more card here current energy please show me current energy between the divine feminine and divine masculine and one fill on the floor we've got just be honest with me somebody's not being honest or this is just somebody holding back the two of you could have also gotten into it um over whatever this drama was you know somebody feels like you know what i'm getting here collective also it's like, I don't know if you all, somebody could have also put, put a, what, an ultimatum, given someone an ultimatum, basically. You know, like, if you don't do this, I'm going to have to let you go. Or, you know, I don't know. It's, it's different for all of you, but that's just what I'm getting here. Let's pull some channeled messages and see what else is coming through. Somebody's ego definitely got in the way, though. Show me more energy between the divine masculine and divine feminine. For some of you all too, this person like had a problem with actually telling you they love you or refuse. This person refused to tell you how they really feel, how they really felt. Yep. See, and when I said that, <laughs> emotional lunatic came out. They cannot make this up. Literally emotional lunatic. Yep. And then they said that this person who I feel like that is it's so much in their ego, even though they love you and they've been seeing other people, it's like they're doing the exact opposite. Instead of being guided to learn these lessons that this connection was put in place for this person to learn so the two of you can come together, this person has been like really emotional, but trying not to show it. And they've been acting out by like seeing other people, maybe trying to have sex with other people to get over you in between this separation. But I feel like that behavior has given this person a lot of unnecessary drama looks like here. And this person knows, knows good and goddamn well, <laughs> excuse my French, um, that they owe you an apology seems like. <clears throat> and so you have them on block okay somebody's emotions is like this is like an emotional roller coaster some twin flame some of you all are dealing with your twin flame here okay oh what is this so someone has abandonment issues 
And some of you all, your twin flame could be the person that you have a child from, okay? I mean, show me more. And here we go with the gossip, right? There is some gossip and some drama going on with something too, okay? I'm telling you that now. And I, I think I did mention Virgo, didn't I? Earlier in the reading, Gemini. I think I said you're Gemini or Virgo. I don't know. I think so. Let's see. What else? Yep. And then Gemini comes out. Thank you, Spirit. <laughs> yeah. What else here? This is a long... Okay. Some of you all are in a long distance relationship with somebody. Okay. And then top of the deck says, please come back to me. But it's almost like this person, even though this person wants you to come back. See, we have long distance even though this person wants you to come back collective, it's like they're not showing it. They they have like this poker face. Um, somebody here got a promotion at work here. Okay, I think about you all day. So this person is in this help stuck, helpless energy, right? Feeling helpless, not feeling like their hands are tied, or feeling stuck in fear, or in some form of negative, you know, thought process or something. And for some of you all. Somebody was dealing with third party, okay? They said, she ate you. And then this person says, can I see you? Libra. Some of you all could be a Libra or dealing with a Libra or the third party could be a Libra or this could happen. Maybe a conversation can happen in Libra season and we are in, in Libra season. And then here's another confirmation that you're in a divine union, right? Past life soulmate, okay? You left every part of me untouched. I now realize who you are. That's what this person is realizing but not telling you at the time like they're just not okay also divine feminine there's a need for you to save your money right now or somebody could be saving their money for something it's very special all right so spirits to save your money uh, let's see what the blockages are here between you and the divine masculine or the divine feminine okay what are the blockages in this connection? What are the blockages? Thank you. Somebody could be an Aquarius. What are the blockages? Somebody could like attention, all right? Or someone could just be deciding to focus on their success. Somebody also could have like a successful social media platform or be well known for something in the public eye or someone who is, you know, popular or very successful here i think like somebody's success or somebody being in the limelight kind of got in the way now i don't know if this is the divine masculine in this pride and ego of like feeling themselves being in their ego you know what i'm saying or if this is like the divine masculine looking at the divine feminine like oh you can have anybody with these insecurity issues like we talked about earlier right it's going to be different for all of you what are the blockages Somebody could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. So oh, a water sign could be the block right now. Um, and then we have Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay. Apply it where it fits. This Earth sign could possibly um, can't let you go. Okay. Four of Pentacles energy. So this person can't let you go, but they're acting like they already let you go, right? Remember, we had unfazed. They know they owe you an apology, but they're not giving it to you right now. That's what this energy is. They know. They know who you are. Then fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I've never seen this many signs come out like this. So that there's a maybe a lot of you who are resonating with this message. What, what are the blockages? Somebody also cannot let go of the past. Like some, there are some unhealed issues and drama. All right, button heads. So we know that, right? I literally, as I say that, button heads comes out. We already had drama up here, right? There was this fighting. You know, these are somebody was really passive aggressive too, which makes sense. We saw emotional lunatic here. You know, we have somebody acting like they're unfazed. You know, and somebody getting pissed and deleting photos and somebody, you know, I, it just seems somebody might be for tit for tat. This is tit for tat type energy here. They can't let you go, 
but they want to be passive aggressive. And then some of you, the divine masculine sabotage this connection. Okay, and they said, we're dealing with somebody who was a gold digger too. And they didn't know that. Or this third or this third party was a gold digger. Yeah. Somebody who liked to have fun. So I feel like they were having fun. The divine masculine was having fun with this person, or the divine masculine is too busy focused on dating other people or whatever, trying to move on. But they yeah. They moved on with a user or, you know, since the separation, they've only been with people who have used them for either their money or their status, right? Something that they can get out of them. Knowing they're not really getting along. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They're learning a real big lesson behind this at this point. That's exactly what I see here. So show me here how the Divine Masculine feels. And then we'll get a few cards on how the Divine Masculine feels. And then we'll get a few cards on how the Divine Feminine feels. So show me here how the Divine Masculine feels about the Divine Feminine, please. One card at a time. Judgment. Oh, the Divine Masculine is going through some form of an awakening right now. The number 20 could be significant. That's also Scorpio energy. You know, they want to reconcile with you. It's about a decision. That's about self-evaluating. So this person's in the, you know, acting like they're unfazed. But it's something about this divine union, this past life connection that has this person doing some form of like self-evaluation, like how they acted, getting out of this self-victimizing role here, dealing with people who only bring them drama and who are only temporary, who are not divine, they are karmic, not learning their lessons that they should be learning, right? Constantly putting you in a position, if you're the divine feminine, to have to forgive them. I feel like you, you, if you're the divine feminine, you, you've forgiven the divine masculine a few times, more than a few. That's why you, you know, we're butting heads. All right. We have the page of cups, which is the apology card, right? Remember we said that? So with, with the judgment energy, this being next to the judgment energy, this is definitely vibes of making a decision to come towards you and apologize. They feel like they owe you an apology after, re after doing a self-evaluation. They're looking back on the past and the memories and how they treated you. And they're like, oh shit. How do they feel about the divine feminine, please? How does the divine masculine feel about the divine feminine? Okay. <clears throat> Queen of Wands. They feel like Aries, you could be an Aries Leo or Sagittarius, sorry. I don't know if this is supposed to be, I'm just gonna say this because that card kind of tumbled a couple times. I feel like, they do feel like you're super attractive and they are thinking about you sexually, okay? And I think that's exactly what this card is. Yeah, I've been thinking of you sexually. You see where that placement fell? So this is, be careful, this divine masculine could just be thinking about sex and still be in their ego. Use your discernment. How does the divine masculine feel about the divine feminine? Show me more. Okay. Wait, I got three cards. Okay, this card came out, Knight of Wands. This is them thinking about you sexually. That's exactly what this is. And then we have King of Wands. So here, this person, the Divine Masculine feels like you are their counterpart, right? We have the King uh, and Queen of Wands. All right. We have the Knight of Wands. <laughs> the only thing standing between you and them is this is this you know what okay and they want to give it to they want to give this wand to you they do i mean you know i feel like also this person had a lot of fun with you yeah they did right and then we have the seven of pentacles i didn't mention that i'm gonna put this back up here hold on 
Um, Seven of Pentacles is, is Earth sign energy. Some of you are, you guys could be, uh, and then we have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here, okay? So those are all the people that were on the board over here that we just mentioned. They just, they just popped out on the Divine Masculine side um and how the divine masculine feels they're waiting though the seven of pentacles is like waiting to take some action next to the king of wands this king of wands i feel like it's waiting on the right time trying to decide if they really what type of effort they really want to put into this to make this grow or not but no action yeah see they feel like you walked away from them so the Divine Masculine is, uh, you could be a water sign too, but the Divine Masculine feels like you just walked away from it. It was, you, you weren't happy. All right, let's see what the Divine Feminine, how the Divine Feminine feels. And they could be watching you. I just saw the Page of Swords. All right, could be watching your social media. I don't know, talking to friends. How does the Divine Feminine feel about the Divine Masculine, please? How does the Divine Feminine feel about the Divine Masculine? You're waiting. <laughs> Two of Wands. You are waiting. Show me more here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh I think that was the Seven of Swords that almost just came out. It's almost like you're waiting on this person to come towards you and be deceptive or be dishonest again. You don't trust them. Yeah, see, page of wands. Oh, I don't know. You might be waiting on some good news. You might be waiting on some communication from them. Um, The page of wands is the good news page, right? The, this is the page that delivers the good news. Um, This is also really young, flirty behavior okay there are a lot of wands here by the way the knight of wands is here on on your person's side queen and king of wands are, are there on the divine masculine side over in your side is the two of wands and page of wands uh you're waiting on communication from them well show me how the divine feminine feels about the divine masculine yeah see you are you you want you want ace of cups cancer pisces scorpio energy you want a new start and a new beginning with them you do love them you do show me more from the divine feminine please on how they feel six of cups this is the nostalgia thinking about the memories this is your past life soulmate card you love them you miss them you may have walked away from it. I mean, not may have. You did walk away from it, okay? You're thinking about the memories, though. Yep, and you want communication. You're waiting on this communication. You're waiting on this action, Eight of Wands. You may even really want to reach out to them, too. Um, somebody is thinking about the past. So, you know, some of you all, there could be a phone conversation or some text messages and somebody just, your divine masculine texts you out of the blue and, and then asks you, like, how you're doing? How's your family doing? It might be, like, a super friendly, like, it's not going to be anything heavy, you know? This person's going to, like, put their toe in the water to see what it feels like first. Because they're in their ego, remember? So they're going to kind of like tread lightly to test your temperature. Show me how the Divine Feminine feels about the Divine Masculine. Oh, yeah. You said they're my Divine Masculine. I know that. The Emperor just showed up, okay? You, you, <laughs> you know this is your Emperor, don't you? You know this is your Emperor. But, man, there's a lot of stuff happening in this Emperor's life. How does the divine, okay, yeah, you're on a break from them, though. You know this is your person, but you're, you're resting and you're healing. Or you you feel like if you identify with the divine feminine, that this emperor needs some healing. You're on a break, you're on a rest, you're not talking, right? Um, <clears throat> and you know there's some necessary healing. And you also feel like the bottom of the deck is the Knight of Swords. It's like you almost collected, if you're the Divine Feminine, you feel like the Divine Masculine just acted harshly or brash or something, made like some abrupt decisions. And they need to heal from that. And they don't see that, they didn't see that behavior. 
people. I feel like they're realizing it now, right? That's what it looks like. Like they're, they realize it now. Let's see what this person wants to say to you. Uh, the Emperor is Aries energy, and then the Four of Swords is the Gemini Libra Aquarius energy, which is like the only air here, by the way. Lots of wands, and then we have cups, and then a little, a little bit of earth energy. What does this person want to say? How, do, how does the Divine Masculine feel? about the divine feminine yeah this person is healing and they've done some reevaluation okay i'm becoming a better person that's that judgment the timing wasn't right for us yeah i know the timing definitely wasn't right for you guys somebody had some other stuff to clean up or or handle or end a cycle with somebody else i'll wait for a sign for, for from you uh yeah i think you you know honestly i feel like you're waiting for a sign from them if they're waiting for for a sign from you they're gonna be waiting a long time i mean that is that seven of physicals energy of like waiting but i think that's not you know whatever i want to tell you how i feel yeah they do they do want to tell you how they feel let's get one more One more for the Divine Masculine. Thank you. I look everywhere for you. So this is the energy. I look everywhere for you. This is the energy of somebody like missing you in their head, but they are not acting. Okay. So I'm going to keep saying that if there's any action, it's coming from you with this Eight of Wands over here and this Ace of Cups. And this page of wands, like you're in more energy of acting than this emperor is, to be quite honest. The emperor is busy strategizing, not talking, right? The emperor is not talking. He Remember we saw that earlier over there where it was the emperor was just like um, quiet and just planning. That's his energy too. Like not telling anybody, acting unfazed. Yeah. I'm going to pull um, a lover's oracle card here for the two of you. Give me a message from the divine masculine and the divine feminine in this connection. Thank you. Imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light. Create room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. Okay, so if you were in this Eight of Cups energy and you walked away like the Divine Masculine thinks that you did, and I really do believe that you did, you're creating new beginnings in your life, right? You're bringing in new love. Some of you are bringing in new love also, and it might be too late, you know? for this person if they ever decide to get it together and come back towards you. Let me see what your advice is in this situation, okay? And then we'll end the reading. I'm not even gonna pull signs because we just talked about who's here. I feel like you guys are clear on that. If you need a personal reading, that information is gonna be below in the description box. <clears throat> What's the advice? Oh, okay. For the collective, advice for the collective, please. <clears throat> Spirit was saying again the time, the something about timing here. Um, if you believe that things are gonna work out, they will. Just let go of control, right? Just let go of control and let happen happen, okay? And then once you let go, you know, I feel like it's gonna come back around to you at some point. But there's gonna be a need to compromise here if you do decide to do this you know and no came out in reverse somebody's when no coming out in reverse you know and next to compromise it's like somebody is having trouble with 
you know, the emperor having trouble with letting go of control issues, always needing to be in control of a situation or something here. That's what this feels like. This emperor feels like they always have to be in control, which is why they're like masking their emotions, acting like they're unfazed, but in secret, they're hiding their love for you, right? They're hiding the fact that they know that they owe you an apology and that they acted or behaved, you know, some type of way. Yeah. And for some of you all too, this person, you, listen, this is up to you. If you want it, you can, you can re rekindle it. I don't know if this is happening right now, but there will be an opportunity because if this person doesn't come towards you and at least give you this apology, you know, and they continue to act unfazed, there's gonna, this person's going to have a tower moment and then they're going to be forced to see it. The, the tower moment could have already happened for some of the, for some of you or for some of them already. Um, <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, but that is your reading. I love you guys. Hit the like button and share and subscribe. Bye.